Hello Bookfinders, it's Thursday, February 17th, and this week I read How We Are Hungry by Dave Eggers. So this book is one of my favorites, and it's been one of my favorites for many years. It's actually one of the first books that I owned. Not, not ever, because, you know, I had lots of kids books when I was younger um, but but the first one part of my current collection um, which I started this one in about 2007 ish is when I started all these books you can see on my shelf um, it I moved to Boulder Colorado with about seven books they all fit inside one shoe box um, and so I'm going to show you a picture real quick ignore the madness that's happening all around and just look at my bookshelf real quick and you can see how much the collection has grown so this book's very special to me it's kind of you know the one that started it all um, I, it's really I mean when I was growing up, I, I read more than normal kids. I think I always did summer reading programs and what have you. Um, but this one really started my love affair with reading in general, um, outside of just Lord of the Rings, because that's kind of all it was before. Um, and so after this one, I just read all the time, and, and I haven't really stopped, and it's uh, influenced me a lot. And it's also a book that it makes, like every time I come back to it, it still makes so much sense to me. Um, the themes are still so important to me. The, the things that it makes me think about, uh, it's just, it always makes sense every time I come back to it. Um, and I think that's, that's one of the markers of a really great book. Um, it's a collection of short stories, which I, I really like short story collections. I know they don't sell well because a lot of people don't like that, but I, I do love them. Um, and it's kind of, you can only talk about them thematically because that's, that's what brings them all together because the stories are all totally different. Um, and it's just, I mean, it's like the title says, How We Are Hungry, how we want things, how we are as people searching for something, desiring things, the, why we want the things that we want, um, and the sort of broken ways that we, we try to do them. Um, and, and that's something that I, I feel every time that I read this book, and it's just, it's worded so beautifully. Um, Dave Eggers has a really wonderful style that I always enjoy no matter which book of his that I'm reading it's always a pleasure to read so I how I found this book in the first place was someone that had written a review for it on their blog um, and they put some quotes in there and the quotes made me want to read the book and these two quotes that I'm I'm gonna read them for you um, continue to be my favorite quotes out of the book and some of my favorite quotes of all time um, so I'm going to share those with you, and hopefully it'll make you want to read this book too, because I firmly believe everyone should read it. I think, Dan, I think you will like this one. Um, I know what you like thematically speaking, but I don't, I don't really know your taste and style, but it's a very literary style, so I think that you will like it. Lauren, uh, maybe. You might like it. I don't really, mm, I can't really pinpoint you in terms of this book. Um, because it's not one of those like gripping stories and you seem to really like the the stories that suck you in more than the writing style which is what does it for me half the time um, and Sarah I already made you read it um, and you I guess enjoyed it didn't really review much of it um, and Julia I don't know if you'd like it either I don't know why I'm going through you guys and, and trying to decide if you would like it or not I feel like everyone should read this book period anyway let me read these quotes for you now um, and they're both from the same story out of the book, as luck would have it. How many times in life can we make decisions that are important but will not hurt anyone? Are we obligated, maybe we are, to say yes to any choice when no one will be hurt? We use the word hurt when talking about things like this because when these things go wrong, it can feel as if you are hit in the sternum by a huge animal that's run for miles just to strike you. Quote number two. Sex and things like sex, things people pretend they regret, weren't about a decision made in a heated moment. The decision is made when you leave the house, when you get on a plane, when you dial a number. 
So the book I'm reading next week is called The Last Ring Bearer, and I already know it's going to be terrible, so I'm kind of excited. It's a retelling of Lord of the Rings from a different perspective. I found it online the other day, so it's all in ebook form, and I'm really excited to read that because it's going to be so bad. Questions. I don't think that Dan or Julia asked questions. Um, Dan needs a punishment, but since he's not doing it until Sarah and I do ours, and Sarah doesn't have a camera, um, and I don't have a punishment in mind right now, I'm gonna wait for that one and suggest it at a later time. Julia, I don't think, asked a question. Julia, if you did, let me know so that I can answer it next week, but I don't think that she did. Um, so Lauren had questions, um, and Lauren had questions that I um, had feelings about, so that's nice. Uh, her first question was, how do you feel about used books? Um, I like the idea of used books. I think that it's great that there are used bookstores and, and libraries and all that sort of thing. Um, personally, I don't like to read used books. Um, I feel a lot like your friend does Sarah, that a part of them goes into the book when when they read it like a diary and, you know, um, I, but I, I feel the same way but opposite. Like, I don't feel like I'm encroaching on their space. I feel like they're all up in mine, you know, like the book isn't fully mine because someone else's, like, soul is inside of it, kind of, a little bit. Um, I don't mind used books from, like, family or friends or something, but just random stranger used books I don't like because I feel like they're there with me in the book and I'm like mm, this is mine this is my space move along and then your second question is uh, is there a particular copy of a book that is special to you not in terms of the story but the actual copy itself um, and yes absolutely um, the first one is my Lord of the Rings books they're the f the first books that I ever owned in this collection that I have now um, and I'm actually missing the first copy of it, the the um, the Fellowship of the Ring. Somehow, that it got left at my parents' house when I first moved out of it, um, and I ended up with this other copy that's a newer edition um, that I don't like as much. But these were published in like the '60s, I think, um, and they were my grandma's. And just a minute, Stephen, I heard that you said I stole your Lord of the Rings books. I did not. I stole Grandma's Lord of the Rings books. Yours are the movie cover box set, and I don't like movie covers, and I would never steal that one because I stole these ones, and I love them. Admittedly, I did steal your Fellowship of the Rings extended edition movie, um, which I think you got for Christmas, so I maybe feel a little bad about it. Um, but if you think that you would love it more than I love it, then I will certainly give it back to you. Uh, but I, I don't I don't think that's the case. I mean, do you think you could love it more than me? No, no. I don't think many people could. But if you think it's the case, I'll, I'll go ahead and send it to you. But I didn't steal your books. Uh, but anyway, back on point. These copies are special. They're the first copies. Anytime I read Lord of the Rings, it's always been these ones, except for The Fellowship. Most recently, I read a different copy. Um, it's always been these ones. So these are my Lord of the Rings books. And Lord of the Rings is so special to me that these are so special to me. And I love the old covers. And I love the old feel to them. I think it, it fits with the story. So I, I love these ones a lot. Another copy that's really special to me is Wasted um, by Maria Hornbacher. It's another one of my first books. We're, we're looking back in the history of Katie's books today. Um, and it's... It's a lot like a diary for me because there's so much written in it, so much underlined in it that every time I reread the book, I see those lines again and I know what it meant when I underlined them. And I, I know, you know, it's like talking to myself from the past. Um, so I actually have two copies of this one. If You've probably seen them in the background um, because I accidentally left it at home um, when I moved, and so I bought another copy so that I could read the book again. Um, so now I have two copies of it, and I love both of them. I love both of them for, for the same reasons. Um, and obviously I love this book if I loved it enough to go out and get another copy so that I could read it again. So everyone should read this book too. Um, I may or may not read it for book writers in the future, so I can actually talk about it. But that's another one. 
Okay, I don't have a question for you this week because Lauren asked two questions and they're kind of long to answer. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to ask you guys a question. So Julia, I will see you tomorrow.